to finish off your sign projects, we can add a slot into the back for uh, picture hanging hooks or a nail on the wall or whatever it is that you're using to mount your, your sign or plaque. Uh, this is going to use the keyhole function. So we've got our sign here. Let's click the R button, which flips our project to the back of the board. And then we can select our keyhole function button and then click on the board. So we're going to put it down here because if you saw the way that it flipped, it flips like this. So the actual top of the board is now facing down on the, on the back side. So we're going to put the keyhole here and it's going to give us some options. Uh, the 325 depth is just the default depth for that bit. I never change that. That's just the, the size that it should be. Up is referring to the direction that it's going to slot. And up in this context, when you're looking at the back of the board, is actually down because the top, remember this is flipped over. So the top of the board or, and our project is down here. So you want to you want to make it up even when you're working on the back of the board upside down. And then length is just how long is that slot going to be. I usually only make mine a half an inch, uh, even though three quarter is the default, three quarter is just fine. It's whatever you're comfortable with. You can even make it longer. Um, then I'm going to hit OK. So there's our keyhole slot. It shows up there. I'm going to make sure I space it away from the edge of the board so I don't get too thin there. And then I'm going to center it just on that center axis so that it's uh, right there in the middle and it's locked into place. And that's it. It's going to plunge down here and then slot over and then come back and out so that you've got a, a slotted hanging bracket basically on the back of your sign or plaque. I can flip back over to the front and uh, my project is now finished. So when you load this project, it's actually going to ask for this bit first, and it's going to slot this on the back of your project first, and then it'll have you flip the board back over. And it's important to pay attention to how it flips it here in the software, because that's the same way you need to flip it in the machine on, on the width direction, not on the length direction. If you flip it that way, then this is going to end up being upside down on your project. So make sure that you flip on the width and uh, when you flip the project in the machine and your slot will be in the perfect place and your project is finished and ready to go, ready to upload.